question number uh, 22 is about the right issue so in case of right issue company gives the right to the shareholders uh, uh, they can buy a shares usually at a discounted price so if the shareholder is not interested in the right issue then that issue can be offered to uh, someone else so uh, the first right is the right of the existing shareholders and usually the existing shareholders uh, exercise this right because the share is being offered at a discounted price so question number 22 uh, associated beverages is planning to market alcohol free beer to finance the venture it proposes to make the right issue at 10 dollar of one new share for each two shares held so they are offering uh, one share to the shareholders who is currently holding uh, two shares at a price of ten dollars the company currently has outstanding uh, one hundred thousand shares priced at 40. so current price is 40 but the new shares the right issues is being offered at ten dollars so there is a uh, uh, no way that the existing shareholders will refuse this issue because uh, it's being offered at a huge discount assuming that the new money is invested to earn a fair return give a value for the following so the requirement number one is uh, number of new shares so number of new shares so to calculate number of new shares uh, we will uh, do like uh, we use the existing shares which are 100,000 and one new shares will be issued uh, to those who have two shares so every two shares will be given one shares so the new number of shares will be 50,000 amount of the new investment B so amount of investment will be number of new shares multiply it with the share price issue share price so number of new shares are 50,000 and they are being offered at $10 each so this will become 500,000 this is the new investment part C total value of the company after issue so total value will be old value plus new issue so uh, previously company had 100,000 shares each price at 40 and now they have new shares which are 50,000 and they collected ten dollar each so if you math all these uh, this will be four million and this will be 0 0.5 million or five hundred thousand in total it will be four point five million dollars then the part D uh, total number of shares after the issue so total shares will be all shares plus new shares so old shares are 100,000 and new shares are 50,000 so in total there are 150,000 
shares. Then we have E stock price after the issue. So stock price is equal to value of firm divided by number of shares. So from uh, part C, we know that the value of the firm is equal to 4.5 million. And the total number of shares from part D is 150,000. So the share price is $30.